Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the team at Dodgy Software. Today I want to feature a small artificial intelligence program. A uh, number of behaviors from uh, path following to seek, flee, arrive and wander. Um, the first behavior that you're seeing on the screen at the moment is uh, path following behavior, following around a circle. You'll see a small gray circle uh, that represents the uh, target for the next waypoint in the path the red bot being the leader bot and each one of the white dots following the white one in front of them except for the one behind the red dot which is following the red dot. <laughs> um, now I've got a couple of different paths here uh, this one is the circle uh, this one is a random circle I've, uh, I took just the normal algorithm that would draw a circle and then just added a uh, somewhat uh, randomized sine wave pattern around that so I called that the random circle and um, this was more to demonstrate uh, you know like a higher res higher resolution uh, of path following just to see how um, all of the all of the little entities would follow along the path uh, where there might be some very tight bends and curves or where even the paths may overlap um, now this one is a uh, simple spiral um, so you can see they track uh, to the very last node and at the last node they go right back to the very uh, starting node again now um, the next the next uh, path I've put in here is a square spiral um, which is exactly uh, <laughs> exactly what I said it was a nice square spiral and then I finally got a uh, completely randomized path. So uh, in this instance here, I've just randomly generated a whole lot of points which all connect together. Obviously, once again, the uh, last node in the path uh, returns to the very beginning. Um, now onto onto a bit more of the com more complicated behaviors. The first one I'm going to cover is the uh, seek behavior. Now, uh, the way that I've set this one up is that it seeks to uh, wherever the mouse position is. Now, there should be a small amount of bobbing when the, uh, when the entity gets to the location it's supposed to be. And that's because it's continually seeking uh, that target and that's intended and deliberate behavior. Um, so as you can see, wherever I move the mouse uh, around the screen, the red bot will travel to that location and um, all of the other bots that are following uh, will head in that direction too. Um, so I've also got a flee behavior. So flee is where uh, the entity gets scared and runs away. In this case it's going to be scared of the mouse. So when I turn this one on you'll see that wherever I put the mouse it tries to run away from um, so I can sort of make it run in circles make them behave like sheep and maybe pretend that I'm a sheep dog or something um, now the uh, next behavior I wanted to cover is the uh, arrive um, the arrive algorithm so what uh, arrive does is um, it's very similar to seek except that uh, an, an entity that's seeking a target will uh, speed up and then gradually slow down before it reaches uh, the exact target position. So as you'll notice, if you look very closely, you'll see how it slows down. All of them do, and the reason why the other nodes all sort of uh, entities rather bank up against it is because they're arriving at the position of each one of the previous nodes with a small margin. Um, as you can see that I've set the margin uh, here to be um, very very close to um, very very close to the uh, radius probably a little bit bigger than the radius but they all uh, they all attempt to arrive at the desired location the last behavior I wanted to show is wander um, now the way that I've got wander set up here is is that the red leader bot can go off the screen and left, right, up and down, um, and the white dots can't. So what that means is is that when the leader bot leaves the boundaries of the screen and pops out the other side, that all of the white uh, entities should follow over there. 
Now, wand is sort of interesting in the sense that uh, what you do is is you um, the target for the what the bot is seeking. If you could draw a circle in front of the bot, and then select a uh, random uh, random sort of uh, you set a direction which would be forward, um, and uh, you sort of put a jitter um, onto the onto that vector so that the target point goes around that circle, then the bot sort of seeks in this sort of nice smooth uh, curved way, which you'll be able to see here. You'll notice how the bot sort of um, looks like it's driving and steering around, and that's sort of because it is. There's a um, circle in front of it, and we, we select a point on that circle as the seek target but then we apply a uh, directional jitter to that so we can sort of add or subtract in that direction and that allows us to have sort of a nice smooth curved uh, type of movement um, which does sort of simulate the way that a player would move um, now it's completely random where it goes, you'll see it'll go off the screen there and all of the white bots will try and trail over there to chase it um, and so yeah you can um, observe the uh, wonder behavior in real time. Anyway, that's all I wanted to uh, demonstrate for today. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, until next time, take care.